YouTube, y'all? It's your girl, Lorraine Vaughn, and I am back with another video. Oh, oh, oh. If you're new, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you're not new here, but you came back to watch my video, you didn't have to subscribe button. What are you doing? Hit that subscribe button, get your girl to 1K, because I should already be at 1K, so get your girl to 1K. Videos are dropping every single Friday, so don't forget, get, don't forget to hit that post notification bell. Don't forget to like, don't forget to comment. And, you know, as you've seen that title and you see that thumbnail, you can see that your girl, Lorraine Yvonne, has did a different hairstyle today. Um, I think it came out so freaking cute. I got this hairstyle idea from JT. Um, I seen it as a picture and she was like a real life breast doll. And I was like, you know what? I'm about to do this. I am going to do this. So I decided to do it and I installed this wig that I had already. Mm-hmm. I'm a motherfucking city girl. Ain't shit free about me. Period. <laughs> but yeah, you guys. So if you guys would like to see how I came out with this hairstyle and how I did this and how, you know, what I did and stuff like that, make sure you guys stay tuned because we're about to start that shit right now. <laughs> What's up, y'all? So right now I'm just putting on my wig cap and I'm just pushing that down the way that I wanted to sit. And I'm cutting out my ears on both sides. Alright, so now I'm going to go in with the Ghost Bond glue. I actually like this glue, you guys. Um, it's not better than gummy lace glue by I'm Slayer Bay, but it definitely gets the job done. So I learned this trick on TikTok, and i seen it on Instagram too that people use uh, lace glue to hold their wig cap down. Because, you know, when you use Got To Be Spray, it usually lifts up and it don't last. So I put the glue on, and then I put Got To Be, got to be Spray right over it and let it dry but i did use a blow dryer and i just held it back a little bit so it wasn't like heat and making it sticky you want to make it dry okay so right now i am just cutting off that excess that i did not glue down i usually use scissors but you guys the razor definitely need to use a razor a one and definitely more easier but anyways y'all so i'm just knotting the bat up and then just cutting off the excess and that's what it looks like it's time to get into the fun part so right now i'm just going to spray my lace with true match lace spray i feel like it's way better than using um makeup because i feel like the makeup i use it don't match and it cakes up and yeah i just don't like it so get you guys some lace spray y'all and it's best to use it like air dry but i didn't have time so i just blow dried it now we're about to put this bad boy on and set it the way that we want it to you know get the sides where it's supposed to be at because once you start gluing and put it down it is there so right now i'm going in with the ghost bond glue and i'm putting it literally at the edge of the wig cap now you less is better i learned that um because yeah you really don't need to have all that glue it's gonna be caking up and then the glue that you you know what i mean don't lay down on the wig it's like it's a mess so you guys less is better okay so i'm going to do the same thing to the other side i was going to do a section by section but i learned that that really don't work for me and it messes me up every single time all right so now that my glue is white not white i'm sorry clear you guys you want your glue to be clear I am about to install this beautiful Amazon wig. <laughs> oh yeah, you guys, I'm so sorry. I literally, my phone stopped recording life of a content creator and you know, I just had to keep going. So right now I'm just laying the pieces that are up with some got to be spray and tying that down with my, what is it called lace front band i'm not even sure what it's called you guys lord jesus but tying that down and now after i let that sit for a little bit i'm going to take that off and be careful you guys because it kind of was sticking and i didn't want to like rip my lace off Now that I got my wig laid the way that I want to and pushed, um, comb my hair back in you know, a little sh strangling pieces, I'm going to start creating this hairstyle, JT's hairstyle. And I'm just going to go in with, she had a 
deep part swooping so i'm about to do that i never said deep part before but you know i wanted to try because i feel like it's something new to try and plus i'm ready just to like you know keep up myself and do my hair like how i used to i stopped doing it all right so now that i have the section exactly where i would like it to be i'm going to clip that and now i'm going to make ponytails i was going to push it all up like how hers was but i couldn't do that because it's a wig and it's not like a 360 wig as you guys can see it's kind of like you can see the back so yeah i had to change that out and do like half up half down going to take a little rubber band and tie that right on up because I got it the ponytail exactly where I wanted it to be. I also made sure that my sides was combed down and flat because you don't want anything bulky. You want it to look nice and just you know almost realistic. So I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. Now that I have my ponytails the way that I want them, I'm going to take a literally a little piece of the hair from the ponytail and wrap it around the rubber band. So that way you don't see the rubber band and it kind of like pushes the ponytail up to M plus. That's how JT's was, so I'm going to do it exactly like that. Now that I have it wrapped around, I'm going to spray a little bit of got to be spray and like smooth it on there. Then take the dryer and literally kind of like, not melt it, but like mold it so that way it doesn't move and it just stays exactly like that and i'm going to do that to the same on the other side all right let's clip them bad boys back so we can have a clean canvas to work with and not get any of the extra hair so now that i have my ponytails exactly the way that i want them i'm going to brush out my swoop and I'm going to apply my, my stick. I forget what it's called, you guys. Ugh, I'm so sorry. I'm gonna apply my stick and I'm just gonna put that everywhere on top and I'm going to brush, well, comb it through so that way when I use the hot comb, it really gets it. And, and now it's time for the hot comb. Y'all, I was so scared of that hot comb. I'm like, please, please, please don't burn myself. Literally trying to make a video. So I literally took my time. You guys, please take your time. It's no rush and if you are in a rush, don't use the hot comb. <laughs> But yeah, so I just did all the hot comb on the hair and I did it the way that I would want it to lay. That's definitely a key, 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 key point. Definitely use the hot comb the way that you want your hair to lay. So I got all the hair together and it's that little piece I just kept trying to not be great, but it, it was great. <laughs> so now I'm just going to take it to the back and I literally held it like held it with some force not pulling my wig but to keep it flat down and to keep it you know like a nice flowing layer so i'm going to use my bobby pin to pin it up in the back y'all i use like five or six bobby pins i didn't show that but i definitely did use them all <laughs> Okay, the hair is coming together. Y'all see it? Do y'all see it? So I went and went ahead and cut the ends because when I curled it the first time, it wasn't like how I wanted it to be. It was like loose and just not, it wasn't giving. So I just trimmed the ends and then I went in with my flat iron and just flipped the curls up. Instead of curling down, flip them up and literally take your time let that heat get to it so it can stay as long as it can and do the same thing to the other side Well, 
like I said, I had to leave the back out because, you know, you can't have the back showing. So I just flipped the back too. Instead of curling it down, I curled it upwards because, you know, why not have like a secrecy of the hairstyle, if that makes sense. I feel like I just made that up, but you know what I'm trying to say. Uh, I was gonna forget about the baby hairs because Loki, I didn't need them, but I seen on her picture that she had a little little swoop. So I was like, let me let me just do something because you know I am not great with baby hairs. I suck at baby hairs, but you know I did a little something something. And I went ahead and also added some concealer to the part to make it look like I actually had like a part that went back a little further and just to give it you know that realistic look and as you guys can see your girl is in love with it i really 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 love this hair let me know what you guys think and i'll see you guys in the next video all right you guys so that's the end of the video make sure you guys like make sure you guys comment make sure you guys subscribe let me know if you guys like this hairstyle um, would you guys try it? Would, what do you think I should do differently? If you think I shouldn't do nothing differently and everything is fine, let me know. Because I really be reading y'all comments and I'll be commenting back. So, yeah, you guys, this is the end result. This is what the hair is looking like. Okay. Okay, the hair is giving. It's giving. It's giving exactly what it's supposed to give. Period. But yeah, you guys, so that's the end of this video. Make sure you guys like the video. Make sure you guys comment down below. Make sure you guys stay on doing a video. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.